Hello everyone, this is Majid and in this tutorial I want to show you how we can use composite design pattern. The composite pattern gives us the ability to work and interact with group of objects just like a single object. It uses a tree structure to represent part whole hierarchies and also it allows you to have a tree structure and ask each node in tree structure to perform a task. In this tutorial we uh, will see how we can implement simple menu bar with a composite design pattern. Also, it's uh, good to know composite design pattern has two different kind of node. Uh, first, it's composite that can contain multiple object and leaf object that has no children. So in this case, we have menu, cell phone, laptop, and a smartphone as composite object. And we have L1, L2, dumb phone, S1 and S2 as a leaf. So first of all, we should create menu component and after that, we should create composite class. And after that, we need to create a leaf class. So let's jump to code and see what we are going to do today. As usual, first of all, I want to create index.php. Uh, I want to initialize the composer. And in this case, I want to auto load app directory and that's it so let me run composer dom autoload and it's generate autoload file. So in index.php, let me create require once directory vendor autoload.php. So that's it. Let me just simply echo hello world to see everything's work fine. Yes, that's work. So in this case, I want to create app directory. And first I want to create menu component class that contain an abstract class and this class contain abstract function called render to represent and responsible for an item that we are going to preview on UI or console or anything else. So let me create, let me add namespace and also create class called menu component that it's abstract also and it has function called render and also I expect that render method return a string so I think for menu component that's it and I want to create a leaf object called for example link and also it's known as leaf object so let me add namespace and class link it should extend menu component and it should implement render function so in this case I want to just simply return anchor tag and also it receive title and link attribute So each item, each link item should had should has two attribute called link and title. So in this case, I want to create a constructor for this class and add two private attribute called title and link. And I think that's it for link. So now we need composite object and in this case i want to name it menu and menu also should implement should extend menu component and also it has an array of menu component so let me define it as private and menu components so in the constructor i want to 
menu component, menu class has attribute title to simply show a title on top of the each menu. And in this case, I want to initialize the menu component with empty array. And also it needs a function called uh, maybe add to just simply add menu items to the array. So in this case, I want to add menu component and also it receives menu component to the array. For the render function, uh, I want to iterate over the menu components array and call render function for each items. So in this case, I want to iterate and loop over the menu components so we get menu component and called render function on each item. And in this case, I want to, for example, having variable called result and just simply append a string and anchor tags to this result and simply return the result at the end of the function. And also we have title attribute here. So I want to show the title on the top of the links. And for simply for just making beautiful and pretty printing on console, let me just add some spaces and empty line. And I think that's it. So I think for menu class, it's okay. And that's it. So let me test this file. First of all, I want to create main menu. And uh, I want to name it, for example, menu. And in this case, we have another menu called, for example, laptop. And cell phone. And also, I want to add another menu called smartphone. These objects are our composite composite objects. So in this case, let's just rename this menu. And in this case, I want to add some item to the laptop menu. For example, new app link. For example, L1, and it has a URL called, for example, laptop L1, and also L2. And for cell phone, I want to simply add item called, for example, just dump phone. And let me add URL dump phone. And for a smartphone, I want to add two links. just S1 and for the links I want to add smart phone S1 and simply add another item called S2 and in this case I want to also add cell phone menu and I want to add smartphone to the cell phone menu and finally I want to add cell phone menu to the main menu and laptop menu. So in this case, I want to just render all of my menu and get the result. And so let me just var dump the result to see what we have here. So just let me run the code and yes. So in this case, we have main menu that we name it here. So let me change the name to main menu. So we have main menu that contains cell phone and laptop. Main menu contains cell phone and laptop. And also my cell phone has dump link, dump phone. And also it has a smartphone that contains two link, S1 and S2. And also you can see my laptop here, my laptop menu contains two items that you can see here. 
And now you can see with composite design pattern, you can uh, work with array of objects, just like a single object. And for today, I think that's it. I hope you like it and do not forget to subscribe and like this video and uh, have a nice day.